Today I'm gonna to show you a simple tweak that you can do to your gaming computer that will significantly help your render times when you're editing video. Let's take a look. A lot of people, when they're looking for computers for video editing, automatically look to gaming setups. Gaming computers, whether they're desktops or laptops, typically have more processing power, they have better GPUs, they've got more RAM, and all of that stuff. And on paper, it looks like they would be the perfect editing laptop. But when you bring that computer home and you plug it in, you may notice that while you can play, say, Call of Duty at 80 frames per second, your render times in DaVinci Resolve or Premiere Pro maybe aren't as fast as you think they should be. And that all comes down to the way that the computer is configured. See, it's not just the parts that matter, it's the way that the parts interact with each other and gaming computers are optimized for gaming. Everything everything in there is optimized for gaming, even your graphics driver. I mean, if you have an NVIDIA graphics driver and you open everything up and you look at the name of that driver, what's it called? It's called the GeForce Game Ready Driver. And this is something that actually confused me for a while after I got my new computer. It was very, very fast and very snappy and very smooth in a lot of aspects, but when it came to rendering things like effects and titles, titles and stuff like that, it still seemed a little bit more sluggish than I thought it should be, and that's because of that game-ready driver. Now, NVIDIA has another type of driver called the Studio Driver, which optimizes your GPU for use with creative apps like Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve, Photoshop, stuff like that. Now, I know some of you both edit videos and do gaming, and you probably are wondering if changing over to the Studio Driver will hinder your gaming performance. And I did a lot of research into this, and I, I read a bunch of articles, and from all accounts that I've found, your gameplay will not change at all. In fact, some games will actually perform better with the Studio Driver, and on top of that, your render times should speed up in your editing program. Now, there's two different ways that you can change out your graphics driver. The first way is kind of the, the longer, more complicated way, which is deleting your old graphics driver, going to NVIDIA's website, looking up your GPU, finding all the drivers for it, and downloading the latest version of the studio driver and installing that. The other way, which is super easy, is just by using the GeForce Experience app that you can download and install on your computer. If you open that up in the driver section, you'll see your little three dots. You can click on that and you can choose game ready driver or studio driver. Choose studio driver. It'll bring up the most recent driver and you just click download and install and there you go. Now, I haven't tested any gaming on this computer since I switched over to the studio driver, so I can't really attest to the gaming side of things. I'm not really a big PC gamer, but I have done a little bit of editing and I can tell you that my render times have actually increased. Rendering out those titles that you see in the beginning of all my videos is actually quite a bit faster. It's quite a bit smoother and snappier and I'm, I'm really, really happy with it. Now, like I said, my computer uses an NVIDIA graphics card and that's pretty much all I know about. I know that you can do this with the NVIDIA graphics drivers, but I'm not sure about AMD or anything like that. So if you don't have NVIDIA, but you do know a way to change the drivers out so that your computer is optimized for things like video and photo editing, let me know in the comments below. All that being said, if your computer doesn't meet the system requirements of the software that you're using, then it doesn't really matter which driver you use. It's just gonna be slow and sluggish and may crash on you all the time. It just may not work. Now, I use DaVinci Resolve, and if you wanna know about the system requirements for DaVinci Resolve, as well as the system specs for the computer that I use, make sure you check out this video right here. And for more videos on how to make better videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.